We're going to hook a DC motor up to an Arduino. First, we've got to hook it up to the motor shield. You notice there are two connector things on here. That is for two different motors. So you're going to want to put one pin in each side. Make sure you unscrew it first. Now we're going to screw that down. Okay, this is what it's going to look like. Now we're going to hook it up. It's got two pins, B1 and B2, then ground, VCC, and A1 and A2. That's for one motor and then the other motor. You can Put one pin there and one pin there. It depends on which direction you want the motor to go. I'm putting it on this pin. And if it doesn't work, put it on the other pin right next to it for the gray wire. And that'll change the direction that the motor is moving in. Now we're going to put the ground. and the VCC, which is the power. There you go, it's in B2. We've got ground and VCC. So if we want it to go the other way, you put it in the B1. Now we're going to hook up the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. That is an external 5 volt power source. And the motor is a 3 volt motor, but it will be okay. Now you can see that the positive and negative are lined up on the breadboard. Next, we're going to take a male-to-male -male wire, and we're going to put it in the negative on the breadboard and connect it to the ground pin on the Arduino. This is going to close the circuit. Do not forget to do this step. Next, we're going to put this pin on five. That's going to control the motor. Here you can get a better view of what it all looks like together. And on to the code. Here we put pin mode, five output, because we're telling the Arduino that it is sending information out to pin five, from pin five. Analog right, five, 170. And 170 seems like a very high number, but in this case, it's going to make the motor run slow. Here we have a delay of 6,000 milliseconds and analog right 5255, another huge number, but that's going to turn the motor off. Delay 6,000, analog right 5, 10, which is going to make the motor go super fast and delay of 6,000, and then we're going to turn the motor off again. So the odd thing is the higher the number, the slower the motor's going to go.
the lower the number, the faster it's going to go. Now, save the file as something that you're going to remember what it is. Upload it. Make sure that your Arduino is set correctly in the tools section. Now, as you can see, 170 does not move very much. There, the motor is off. And there is 10. And you can see it moves the little guy around. It's blown him right off his feet. And there's the motor off. Now, let's say we want to change that. Let's use digital write 5, 1, which would be high. This is just the binary number. 1 is high, 0 is low. Nothing happened. Just like whenever you put it on analog right 5255, it's at the highest thing, which turns it off. So digital right 50 turns it on, blows the little guy off his feet, the motor's on high. So if you want to turn the motor on high and you're using digital right, low means high and high means off. <laughs> Very confusing. Next, we're going to put analog write 510 just to see what it does all by itself with no delays. And it's blowing the little guy off his feet. And then it stopped. Then it's blowing the guys off his feet. Why did it stop? I don't know. You'll have to find out. Play with the code. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please stop by EPO for all of your electronic needs. Call or drop by. They would love to help you out with anything that you need. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for dropping by EPO.